Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Dvar Halacha. And here's a brand new Halacha for you, and it's for Wednesday, 17th day of August, 13th day of Av. And I want to tell you a Halacha about Friday, which is going to be the 15th of Av. Tuba Av, we call it. It's a festive day. The only real festive thing that you're going to see, pretty much, is that we won't be saying Tachanun. But, uh, but it is, nevertheless, a very great festive day for a lot of very interesting reasons. I'm going to tell you very interesting reason number two now. Here goes. When the Jewish people were in the desert long ago, you know that they sent spies to the land of Israel to spy out the land. And they came back, well, 10 of them came back with a bad report. And the Jews cried that night and said they didn't want to go in. And God said that eternally it would be a night of crying. That was the first of the very tragic things that happened on the 9th of Av. We just told you about that about a week ago. Okay, so that made the Jewish people have to go back into the desert, uh, stay in the desert, I mean, to a completion of 40 years. And the biggie was that God said that that generation that said they didn't want to go into Israel, God said, that's okay, you won't. Really, you won't. And so that generation died off over the course of 40 years, and their children instead went in to, uh, to get the great land of Israel. Now, a very interesting mechanism was set into place such that the people would die off each year, and that was that every year commemorating that sad night, they were to dig graves in the desert for the ninth of Av, lie down in their graves, the whole generation of them that didn't want to go in, and 15,000 of them would not wake up. And they would die there in the desert, and that would be their permanent grave. And that happened every year until the last year that they were in the desert. Last year in the desert, the last 15,000 got into the graves, and lo and behold, all night long they lay in those graves and did not die. Now, remember, they did not have internet and stuff, and it was possible that they had calculated the day wrong, so those 15,000 people went into the grave again on the 10th, looked up at the sky, waited to die, and did not. So they did it again on the 11th, the 12th, the 13th, and the 14th. And then on the night of the 15th, they lay down in those graves, thinking that it's pretty sure that it's not the 9th of Av anymore, but just to be sure, we'll lie down in the graves. And they all started to notice, of course, a full moon overhead. A full moon overhead definitely signifies that it's the 15th of Av, not the 9th of Av. And that was like the, the announcement to them that they weren't, the last 15,000 were not going to die off in the desert. Only God knows why. But the announcement came by looking at the full moon of the 15th of Av, and that's and you can imagine what festivity it was for those 15,000 to know that they were going to survive and enter the land of Israel. And so it was an unbelievable celebration, and it happened on the 15th of Av. And that's one of the many reasons, unusual reasons, that we celebrate the 15th of Av as a very festive day. Now, you know, go ask around. A lot of people don't know this. Thanks for logging on. Log on again tomorrow for more. Bye-bye.